What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. What's coming Monday? Let's find out. We're going to do a quick preview. Obviously, we're going to be continuing with the 750 million downloads campaign and with the login bonus, but pretty much everything this week is going to be changing, but that's not until Thursday. So we'll cover that in a future video, but all of these players, a lot of people are asking me about it. They're now double dipping with the epics. Listen, it's getting to the end of the season, I think, for eFootball 2024. I know we're only in May, but once June and July hit, I mean, we're literally going to have eyes on eFootball 2025 and whatever that will be. I know that there's a lot of talk about what eFootball needs to be, but we'll have a video on that and covering what I want to see from eFootball 2025 very soon. Three days left in that, three days left in that, but these players here, they're all going to be ending as well with the three days. We've covered this before, but all of these nominating contract uh, cards here are going to be gone on Thursday, not on Monday, which is tomorrow on Thursday. So the rest of the cards here, the only cards that are going to be ending is the Italian League midfielders. So that pack is going to be gone. So that kind of brings us into what's actually going to be coming on Monday, right? So we always kind of know from the databases that you are going to have players loaded up. And this week we do have English League selection attackers for the 6th of May, which is tomorrow. You've got Saka, you've got Hoylund, you've got Isaac. Isaac has had a car recently enough. You've got Ete who's got another car. Rick is back there, Werner, Pereira, um, Buemo. There's a lot of cards in here. This is going to be an English league selection attackers, right? So while we always have these tied in, when usually you are looking at the Italian league midfielders, we didn't have to go too deep for these. Well, no, we did. We didn't actually spin for these at all on this account, but on our other account, we did. This is our free-to-play account. Nedved Davids and Albertini, we did actually get the three of those. And this is the selection that you're seeing here. So there's always one or two good players in this. But I would never spin for these. You know, you're always going to be spinning for the legends. But that does open up the fact that you are going to be able to see which legends are going to be coming, right? So, for example, when you know with this that we are going to be getting Saka, when you can see his stats here, and we'll just give a quick little preview of his stats here. The levels, it's never going to be 39 levels, you know? Um... But this looks like a very good version of Bakari Saka, right? He looks like a really, really good uh, player. And I definitely think that he could be... A... It's hard to tell now because obviously even at 20 levels, you know, even if you've got 28 levels, you're going to have pace and you're going to have speed with Saka. Like it just goes without saying. Because of the manager boost and that they give plus three to those stats now, you're going to have a fairly rapid player with the good dribbling, right? But there's always now one or two weak parts with this player, um, such as Saka, as you see here, with these player packs. Like, that there's always one or two weaknesses. In this case, it seems to be his tight possession, if you want to get that finishing up to the 85 mark. But the rest of the players in this pack, you've got Hoyland there as well, with good speed, acceleration, but you've got the lack of balance and the lack of tight possession, so he's not really running gun. So there's a lot of different things to like and dislike about these packs. Isaac there as well as Buemo. And of course, you've got Etze. Etze is down here in the database here as an actual hole player. So whether or not that rings true, he does have some nice player skills as well. He'll probably have around 30 levels. He won't be a bad option at all. You've got Mudrik, you've got Werner, and of course, you've got Pereira as well as the new legends. So this is where it gets a little bit exciting if you are looking for legends. Listen, lads, I've said it once. I'll say it a thousand times. The legends are what they are at the moment. They're so successful when people bring them out. Um, when Konami are bringing them out, they're making a lot of money as a business for the cards. The gameplay and all that sort of stuff, we'll get into that on Monday's stream. Because, you know, the gameplay is in a, in a state now at this stage that there's a lot that needs to be improved just from a fundamental gameplay point of view. But this model at the moment where the cards are coming on a Monday and a Thursday... That is kind of the model that has been the dream team metric for the last couple of weeks. So it's kind of a case of, you know, if it's not something that is going to be enjoyed, um, then a lot of people are not going to be swayed by cards. You know, if you don't have an interest in the cards or you don't have an interest in dream team, this type of content or these cards and stuff are going to be a tough pill to swallow because it's literally nothing for offline or anything like that. But we'll get into that in Monday's stream. We're going to discuss a few things um, and have a bit of a debate in the chat as well. But Dennis Law looks like he could be coming. There's four players that could potentially come. So now when the players are added, they have their assets and then they have their stats when they're kind of coming back into a different situation or they're coming back um, and they're going to be coming out at a more recent time. So Okazaki, as you can see here, ok okazaki uh for leicester he looks like he could be playing as well he's been added into the game as well so that's going to be an interesting one there um listen it's it's all about whether or not the players are going to be you know are going to come or not like there is four players here it could potentially still be roziki who's down here as well for arsenal um from the 11 12 season and then last but not least it could be michael owen who could who has been in the database for quite a while with this booster this looks like it could be a really good card this michael owen card when it 
comes out. I mean, if you even have 27 levels, which no booster has had less than 28, 27 levels, but you're going to have a beast of a card here with 10 into this, 10 into this, and then maybe 10 into lower body as well, without even touching finishing. Just look at the pace here that you have. Um, you don't even need to go that high with the balance and all that. You could have a really, really good card here um, and a very effective card if you have 28 levels. And you'll probably have more levels than that. I mean, you're going to have the shooting probably up into the 90s. So I know a lot of people are asking for Michael Owen, but we're going to have a wider discussion on this later in the week probably tomorrow actually and then rolling into thursday because there is a big update thursday obviously um on the 10th or whatever date that is but until then boys we will be back on monday let me know what you guys think of who could come and until then i'll talk to you tomorrow in the live stream